dot, dot, dot. This game contains file and graphic content not suitable for children. Player, in the case of performance issues, please turn off the filters option in the config menu. A pure ice game. Beep, beep, boop. It's a cold, rainy day in the Tabachi household. You are Lily. Er, Illy. Lily is a young, innocent girl, nine years of age. You live in a modest home with your papa. On this cold and rainy day, you are knitting on the couch while papa packs his things. Tonight, he needs to go to work in order to teach a night class. Hell yeah! As Lily is a good child, papa trusts you to stay safe while he is gone. Hell yeah! We're <laughs> okay. gonna stay so safe. Oh yeah, dad. I'm gonna stay safe. <laughs> Before he leaves, he gives you hot dogs and mac and cheese. Hell yeah. 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 That's what you want. It is what you want. It is. If you're, want a, if you're a kid, you're gonna hot dog and mac and cheese. No, I want that now. I know. Because I'm a kid. I am... 32 year old kid <laughs> helps you pour the cheese sauce on your hot dog in order to make oh fuck hell it. yeah thanks papa <laughs> you enjoy your meal together ignorant of future events which are gonna be good only yes papa puts you to bed with the sounds of rain lulling you to sleep hell yeah mad dog break God damn. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh, it's like the Live G Free uh like uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> like shells and cheese. Hell yeah. The Live G Free shit is the the like Velveeta like cheese you actually put on it. It puts you to bed with sounds of rain lulling you to sleep. You know, that sounds like a good night. You know, like Dot, dot, dot. Help, someone. Help. 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 You awaken to the sound of a voice. But I don't know what it said. Uh, Lily. Lily. <laughs> the voice seems to come from outside. Outside. You look out your bedside window. And it's a bedside window. Over there among the rain and darkness. Was it a dream? Open your window a crack to listen closer. Please, it hurts. It hurts. Burn to the ground, burn to the ground, burn, burn, burn to the ground, burn to the ground. Help, help. The well, someone is in the well. How does this happen? Somebody jumped down there and then they were like, please, help. The it, rope normally hanging from it has a... Oh, no. You are good, good girl. Good, you got out of bed to go help. Read instructions? Sure. Hell. Use the arrow keys to move around. I can move by clicking. Objects can be interacting by Z, Z or space. Or space. Look at it, too. Auto saves. Safely exited most of the time. <laughs> When's it not safe to exit? <laughs> yeah. Certain objects and structures require the usage of other items. Yeah. Alright. Hell yeah. Open the menu screen with the escape or X on the menu screen. Select the stuff and access collected. Okay. Okay. Stuff, ropes, keys, and files. 
Stuff makes up the normal items that can be used to interact with the objects outside of the menu. You punk, you punk, you punk. <laughs> These often have more than one use, so it's recommended to play around with them Triangle. if they suck. If stuck, rope oh, the main yeah. goal to work towards. Be a normal doing some Mega Man X7 up in this place. Of course. Main goal to work towards. You want to work towards ropes. Yeah. You have to burn the rope. That's very much like Hideo Kojima's hit game Death Stranding. Yeah, it's true. It's a, it's a, it's a rope game. Not a... Shit. I... Oh man, I wish I remembered how that conversation went. <laughs> These items are what Lily needs to climb down the well. Or obtain the further down she can get. Oh, it's important to note that not all ropes are good materials. It's going to be put back until Lily climbs down the well. Keys are keys. They open up certain doors oh, yeah. and can be used infinitely in any playthrough. I remember this. I think I saw this. Finally, files, our notes, letters, books, they're really anything that can be read, just like these instructions. Or inductions, if you prefer. So, so I think I saw this game being played somewhere. I think I also did. I don't remember can, where, Can though. you do me a quick favor? Yeah. Can you go to youtube.com slash basement quality and search Lily's Well? <laughs> Because that would be a very rare instance of me not remembering something. And that doesn't happen. Bad materials will cause it to break. So, uh, if we have bad ropes, that'll be not good for us. Um, so I'm not seeing a basement quality Lily's Well playthrough. Good, good. Um, I'm also not seeing a Lily's Well playthrough from any channel that I recognize, so I don't fucking... I feel like I have seen it before. Yeah. Okay, that's probably about my dog, then, if it's... The only thing that comes out in part eight of Ray Star, we talked. To, we must have talked to the dog. Talked about the dog, or the dog must have been there. Do I want to take the ball of yarn as a rope? Do I want to do that? Yeah, sure. Default. Oh, I can I can change my costumes. Okay. It's like a GTA closet. Look at all my participation trophies. Call a phone number. Oh wait. Sorry, gotta hold on Nathan. This is this is important. Three digits. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, you sly dog. Ah, oh, fuck. Call nine one one. Snitches get stitches around these parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm 
introduction. Resident of Bethany's mirror area since childhood, spent my years studying the various unique plants that only grow in this pocket of the world. Many of these plants take on unique and unexpected roles in their ecosystems, as well as provide plenty of uses for local foragers. Any plant or fungal life, it's important to properly identify anything you're foraging. Failure to do so will lead to extreme injury or death. It's additionally important to not violate anyone's personal territory while foraging. Any angry resident of Bethany's mirror is far worse than any moose. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Meese are crazy. Oh, yeah. Meeses? Meese. Take a look at the most common specified. Let's, let's get some trees. Trees found in Bethany's mirror are the same as the ones in the surrounding area. Plenty of oak, maple, and pine. Most common of the areas unusual is the nymph mimic. Oh, okay. It will appear as a normal birch tree, but with a female humanoid figure jutting out of the trunk. Oh, okay. Okay. By appearances, it isn't an actual nymph, but a soulless tree. Oh, god. Do trees normally have souls? No. Okay. These trees seem to form from the souls of women who got lost in the woods. Oh, Red good. Corpses dumped Jesus after being killed. Their souls leave an imprint of sorts in the tree in Bethany's mirror, causing it to swell up the body. So this is a science textbook? Yeah. <laughs> it's called magical realism. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> the sap from these protrusions can be harvested and made into nymphs. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's the tomb tree. Oh, the tomb tree. A little harmless towards humanoids. In most cases, the tree will pose a risk to small children and pets. Damn it. I'm 32. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm 32, and I'm not scared at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my ears pierced to Claire's. <laughs> the tomb tree appears as a dead and hollow oak tree, usually in the center of a clearing. Most small animals that come across it may be interested in making a home out of the trees, but totals is actually uh, a trap. Things the two trees lack of leaves it instead gains nutrients by digesting the animals that get stuck in the tar like sap it secretes in its tunnels. Death of these animals is slow and full of suffering. Cool, thanks. Instead of dying of their flesh being digested, they often die of dehydration or starvation first. Ah! Uh -huh. Something. Or someone you care about gets stuck in this tree's sap. Common store-bought dish soap is enough to disconnect skin from the sap. Oh, good. So I should scan the house and pick some of that shit up. Gotta get the dish soap. The vine plants of Bethany's Mirror can be some of the most dangerous and most useful for foragers. Looking for forage materials, the most dangerous vine to stay away from is the overcast vamp vine. Bright purple suction cup like leaves that only open on rainy or overcast nights. Touching these leaves will cause the vine to grab its new prey and attach as many suction cups as possible to the victim's skin. skin. It will use these suction cups to rip the victim's skin open and suck out all their blood until they're bone dry. Oh, good. Yeah, let's, let's keep reading that. The Womb Ripper! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Did Guar write this? <laughs> Shit, man. It's about its name. It doesn't actually rip out wounds. But it's still, it's dangerous, you know. The womb ripper is only dangerous for those who eat the bright red berries off of its vines. Touching or squashing the berries appears to be harmless. But after being consumed, the berries will latch onto the inner linings of its host's stomach and intestines like a tapeworm. The seeds inside the berries will steal nutrients from the host before eventually sprouting. Since in the sun outside of the body, the new plants will violently burst out of the host's organs, likely leaving the host to bleed out, and the new vines grow in the nearest tree or large rock. Oh. That will be used by the wound river as extra food throughout its life. Luckily, it's very brittle shortly after separating from its root, making it easy to incinerate. Alright, so I have a feeling there's going to be a puzzle where we have to Involving. take the berries and beat them to some unsuspecting fuck. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. One vine that's both dangerous and useful for foragers is known as Order of East Punishment. Often found in shady areas and tar trees, Order of East Punishment can be easily, easily identified by the blue thorns growing along it. Take extra care not to get pricked by these thorns as they will inject an intense hallucinogen that will last around 12 hours on average. They'll additionally cause an intense itchy sensation. On the inner organs. On the inner organs. I've never had my organs itch. No, never. I don't think. I mean, skin's an organ, I guess, but like, inner organs. It's an outer organ. Yeah. By removing these thorns, the, the vine can be used as a very helpful building material. It's capable of holding an average of 460 pounds of weight, even after being dried out. That's 40 pounds too many. That's yeah, true. So we need to dethorn that and use that as, as a, as a death strand. Yeah. Because that's gonna need to be the top of the rope. Yeah. For those suffering from joint pains, you may want to look for the flower of Icarus. Damn. This yellow flowering vine grows swiftly into the rain and thrives in deep wooded areas. By looking the pollen off the flowers once a day, humanoid joints will begin to repair themselves. It's however very important to not take the vine itself or pick the flowers. Okay. Good. Being removed from where it originally planted its roots, the plant will start growing micro fractures because it's to easily be destroyed after little amounts of pressure. What did this one look like? Uh, I don't remember. Eh, it can fucking suck out your fucking blood, or that's the one that'll fucking poison you. Yeah. Womb Ripper. So, that one's got berries. But first that of you like a fucking alien. Yeah. And then the other, like, one. Yeah, hell yeah. And then this one's... The Orderly punishment is the blue thorns. thorns make itchy organs. But are very good, uh... It'll make a good rope material. So, joint pain, flower of Icarus, flower of Icarus yellow, yellow flowering, flowering okay. vines. So do not take that vine or pick the flowers, but do lick it. Yeah, lick the fuck out of that plant. Okay. Hell root yeah. Vegetables. Root vegetables. Or two two vegetables, if you prefer. <laughs> Settle down now, y'all. Going around Bethany's Mirror, there are plenty of root vegetables that can be found, only here. It's due to the area's creation and impact that the outside has on it, the dwarf med... med Mandragora. can be found in the paved roads near the area's border. Despite its name, it's not in the Mandragora genus, rather the Dacus genus. Dacus! They appear as an inch wide clusters of white flowers that grow at the side of the road. Picking them will reveal a purple root vegetable in the shape of a human body. Okay. These vegetables range from three to five inches tall. They can cause mild stomach discomfort if eaten raw, but boiling them kills the toxin that causes this. Dwarf Mandragora is best served with melted cheese and beef. Hell yeah! Melted cheese, like from your Mackey cheese. Yeah. This, this section's pages seem to have been cut out with scissors in order to keep the recipes. Okay, good. All right, so most of this playthrough so far has been reading. Get some dish soap. I know that's an important thing. You gotta find the kitchen and get the dish soap. Uncheesed macaroni noodles. Hell yeah, one piece of rope material. There's a key, but I'm a tiny baby. You are a tiny baby. Ah. Was supposed to go. Right, switching to keyboard for this part. 
Yeah, hell yeah. And there's a big old chocolate bar on the wall. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Can you just get it now? Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> Alright. What is that? Yeah. You did the shit. Do you want it? Hell yeah. My pride and joy. <laughs> hey, that might be the beast in my shed. It's a letter addressed to Papa. Dear, Dear Tony. Tony, hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to you from Mother's home as she required extra help regarding the pig farm. Come on! She is personally doing well and has asked about you and Lily. Mother is especially curious about your progress on your research project. When Mother heard that you were pursuing her speciality, she was delighted to see how you would do. Please write to her and... Take free loading. Oops. Okay. Possibly send samples. And we expect to stay on the farm for the next year or so before returning to Maine. With your permission, I'd like to visit your home on the way. Thank you for your time, Vic. So he might be dangerous. <laughs> Grocery delivery. Only Papa's allowed in the pantry. And motherfuckers got a padlock. You got to keep the shirt. The oven slash stove. VHS about how fires start and how they can destroy an entire home. There's no dish soap here. There might be in there for some reason. It's not where I keep it. No. Alright. Go into the shitter. Take a dump! This is the bathroom sink. Preventer of disease spread and assistant to teeth cleaning. Hell yeah. It's clean with a mirror hanging right above it. Hell yeah, look in the mirror and be like, I'm a fucking like, baby. Behold juice, behold juice, behold oh, juice. Oh, behold juice. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> you managed to take this, it'd be impressive. I wanted to take the sink. The bowl has always been a hard-working part of the household. People take big wet shits in the sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even after all that time you... Potions in it. Thousand laundry soap bubbles to completely fill the bathroom. Put the end of a yarn ball down it and watch the entire ball disappear in the water. Truly, the most sacred appliance to be created. I have a yarn ball. No! <laughs> Not as a rope. What about the garbage? Damn it. But it's mine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some 
I'm going to click talk with friends. Hmm. Alright. So I should put Venture forth then, right? Oh yeah! I can finally play the game. Mosquitoes can lay their eggs in stagnant water, so you don't want to touch it. Take it. Damn. Damn these tiny hands. Yeah, that's the garbage. A pretty big rock on the ground. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> if you took up. If you picked up anything and you're like, wait, this would be a shitty fucking rope. Which I did. Yeah. I'm gonna want to get rid of that yarn, probably. It's always time to be playing in the road. Yeah, uh... How else are you gonna find the fucking, uh... Vegetables that hang that grow along the road. He just got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, okay. 